So there's a few ways to create stylized eyebrows and eyelashes. It depends on the look that you're going for. We got a simplistic one where it's only a shape of the eyebrows, maybe with some small tweaks here and there. I'm gonna show you how to model it in three different ways. And there's a Disney style where you can see the individual hairs, but it's not quite realistic. We're doing both in this video, so watch till the end. But before we start, make sure you have few good reference images. And please do not turn to those people who put a curved line on the top of the eye and call it eyebrows. That As always, if you want to support the channel or download the practice files in real time videos, check out my Gumroad and Patreon page, link in the description. With that being said, let's go. Shift A and add a plane, rotate it 90 degrees, go to edit mode, scale it down and place it on the right or left eye area. Now turn on a snap. In the options, select face, then turn on these three options. Choose the poly build tool. Now start dragging the points to these areas. For better visibility, go to object properties and in the viewport display, enable in front. Now as it sounds, it stays in the front no matter what. And we can see what we're doing. Power your mouse to the right side till the edge turns blue and drag out a face. Do that over and over and align the points based on the eyebrow reference until we got a full shape. In the modifier properties, add a subdivision surface modifier to smooth things out. If you want the left part to be more sharp, just hover your mouse on the face and press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Then drag the loop cut to the left. Exit the edit mode. Right click and shade smooth. Now add a solidify modifier to make it thicker. You can mess around with the thickness however you want. Add a mirror modifier to have it on the other side as well. Now you can go back to edit mode and change the shape however you want until you're happy with the shape. Now in the face select mode, select one of the faces. Shift D to duplicate and press escape to place it back. Then press P and select to separate it from the eyebrows. Go to edit mode and drag it to the top eyelid. Just like before, while the snap is enabled, realign the vertices to these areas and start extruding out new faces. Maybe make the left part smaller and the right part bigger. Back to select mode, hold alt and click on the top edges to select the top row because we don't want it to stick to the model. Press G and push it forward. In the object properties, turn off in front. Now drag the end point of the eyelashes to the right and drag the back points to the back so it connects with the mesh and not separate it. Drag the front vertices to the back from left to right, keeping the right side of the eyebrows longer than the left. Hover your mouse on the faces and press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Drag it down just a bit so we have curved eyelashes. Now just like the last one, in the select mode, select one of the faces, duplicate and place it on the bottom eyelid. You can also separate it from the top one by pressing P and selection. Don't forget to turn on a snap like me and start extruding the faces just like before. Again make the left part smaller than the right. Turn off snap again and select the edges on the bottom and push them forward just like the top part. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Now drag the outside edges to the bottom so it curves a bit. The base shape is done. Assign a new material to it. You can also add more details to it. Go to edit mode. Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Select the bottom left edge and extrude it out. Now select the top edge and extrude again. Maybe do that one more time. Or you can select one of the edges, rotate it just a bit. Add another loop cut beside it. And in the face select mode, select the face and delete it. As you can see, it's too round. So add a loop cut to the right and one to the left. Drag the close to the cut so it would be sharp. Second way is the method that I used back in ZBrush. I still prefer the last one, but this one is good for when you want to paint the shape of the eyebrows the way that you want. Select your model. Apply any subdivision or multi-res modifier you have. If you don't want to ruin your model, just make a new copy and apply the modifier on that model. So you keep the original one safe. Once you've done that, go to a sculpt mode. Pick up the mask brush by pressing M. Lower the size of the brush and start painting the shape of the eyebrows based on the reference you got. If you mess up some parts, don't worry. You can erase the mask by holding control and painting over it. Once you're done, on the top menu, go to Mask, Mask Extract, and click on OK. Again, for better visibility, go to Object Properties, Viewport Display, and Enable In Front. In the Object Data Properties, go to Quad, then click on Quadriflow Remesh, and with these settings, press OK. Go to Edit Mode, and you should see something like this. If your remesh doesn't work properly, try masking the eyebrows on the other side of the face. I don't know why it happens, but it usually fixes the problem. Then realign the vertices, and just like before, add some and subdivision modifier. For the eyelashes,
cases, I do not recommend this method. I think the first one is faster and better. Now for the people who have retopologized their model, select your model, go to edit mode. In the face select mode, select the eyebrow area, shift D to duplicate, escape to place it back, P and selection to separate. In the modifier properties, delete the multi as if you have it, then turn on the snap again and fix the shape of the eyebrow. Then add a solidify and subdivision modifier like before. In the edit mode, control R and add a loop cut to the left part so it wouldn't be so round. Rearrange the vertices until you get your desired eyebrow shape. For the eyelashes, select the head model again. Go to edit mode. In the face select mode, select the edge of the top eyelid. You can select the first face on the left and holding control shift, click on the last face on the right to select all the faces in that row. Shift D to duplicate, escape to place it back, P and selection to separate. Again delete the multi res. Fix the shape like the last time. Rest of the procedure is the exact same as the first method. Okay, now you have the base shape for the eyebrows and eyelashes. We can turn this into Disney style, where you can see the individual hair, and it's fairly easy and fast. It doesn't matter which method you chose to make the base, results gonna be similar. But before you do that, go ahead and search up eyebrows PNG. Find your favorite eyebrow shape. Just make sure it has transparent background. I chose this one. If you want it, I put the link in the description. Select the eyebrows. Go to shading tab and add a material. Shift A and add image texture. Open the eyebrow image you just downloaded. Now click on the image texture and go to UE editing tab. Press A to select all the faces, then press U and unwrap. Once you've done that, you should have UVs in the shape of eyebrows. Press R and rotate it. Scale it up or down to get it to the size of the image. Press 1 for the vertex select mode. Now select the vertices and drag them to the edges of the eyebrow image. Make sure you get all the hairs inside the UV. Back to shading tab, choose a color for the eyebrows. Shift A and add mix shader. Drop it between the principal BSDF and the output. Shift A again and add transparent BSDF. Then connect it to the mix shader. Also connect the image texture alpha to the factor of the mix shader. For it to work properly, you need to go to material properties. In the settings, put the blend mode on alpha blend. You can see it's reversed. To fix that, grab the handle of the transparent BSDF and drop it on the other shader. So they switch sides. Now it is fixed. Also, you can get rid of the solidify modifier if you don't want it to be thick but make sure you drag out the eyebrows from the body now the problem is it's just a flat image and you cannot see the individual strands there's a way to improve it shift a and add displacement connect the image texture to the displacement and displacement to displacement now you can see the highlights on each hair strands also mess around with the roughness and a specular to get the results that you're happy with now it's time for the eyelashes this time search up eyelashes png something to keep in mind is to find an image where the eyelashes are straight like mine not curved or deformed whatsoever because that interfere with our own curved model and the results not gonna be great once you downloaded it in the shading tab select the eyelashes add a new material shift a image texture and open the downloaded png in the ue editing press a to select all then u and unwrap and just like eyebrows rotate it and press one for vertex select mode and start dragging the vertices to the edge of the eyelashes Back in shading tab, just like before, add a mix shader, drop it between the principal and the output, add a transparent BSDF and connect it to the first shader, so they switch sides, then connect the image alpha to the mix shader factor, at the end go to material settings and put the blend mode on alpha blend, you see it's double sided, that's because of the solidify modifier, you can delete it or decrease the thickness to a low number, now change the shape to your liking, make it bigger, smaller, whatever, good part is, for the bottom one, you don't need to do it all over again, Select the top eyelashes, shift D to duplicate, right click and mirror to Z global or shortcut M and Z. Now drag it down, go to edit mode and start moving the vertices to the bottom eyelid. Hold alt and click on outer edges. Press G two times and push it to the back a bit cause bottom eyelashes are usually much smaller. You see the half of the image is cut out. Go to UV editing tab and drag out the outer edges so it fits the image. 
also do the displacement trick here as well shift a and add displacement connect the image to the height and displacement to displacement and it is done you can change the color of the eyebrows and eyelashes whenever you want by changing the base color you can also make them colorful to do that shift a and add gradient node shift a again and add color ramp connect the gradient to the color ramp and color ramp to base color click on gradient node and press ctrl t if you have the node wrangler enabled mess around with the rotation and other settings now you can add tons of different colors using color ramp that was it if you don't find this video a complete waste of time like or sub would be great and it helps the video to reach more people also if you have any question or suggestion for the future videos definitely put it in the comment section i'll be uploading the practice files on patreon if you want to download it link in the description see you on the next one peace